afternoon and welcome to Whiteboard Fridays with my utility genius. My name is Guy Thompson, I'm the product director here and we thought that the best way to start our Whiteboard Friday initiative is to effectively provide you with some context and understanding as to the industry that you're getting involved in when you try and switch your gas and electricity, when you try and deal with the energy markets. We're going to start off with electricity, hence part one on electricity, and we'll start with just simply the infrastructure and how it works because a lot of the time people don't necessarily understand that. So if we start with your house here, right? This is you, that's the generator. Loads of different types of generation, capacity, coal, nuclear, gas, that sort of thing. Key thing about this is the generating through turbines comes up onto the national grid. National grid is a spine of uh, transmission cables that run across the country, moving electricity at about 400,000 uh, volts. This moves along the country, comes down to the local DNO, which is the distribution network operator, who's the localized person, they step this down using transformers and substations and a variety of other things. Ultimately, goes into your plug, or comes out of your plug at 220 volts. So this is effectively the journey that electricity takes to get to your door. So you have generator, transmission company, which is the national grid. And you have these guys, which are DNOs, distribution network operators. They would be represented by companies that you would have known in your youth. You don't know any of these people, because you don't pay any of them. Where does the money go? Well, that's where the big six and the other suppliers step into the fray. This is where your money's going. So you're paying out on a monthly basis, direct debit, however it may be, you're paying it out to the big six, what they effectively are doing is they are then disbursing that money to all the people involved. They send it here to the generators where they're buying on the wholesale market. So every time you hear the wholesale market blame for anything, it's because of this bit here, so there's some of your money. So more of your money goes to the national grid some of it goes to the DNO. These, these two here are dealt with by um, Ofgem. So Ofgem are regulating the costs here. So these costs are regulated. This is a tradable market. You're paying these guys. Who else are they paying? They're also paying somebody that we all know and love, which is HMRC and they're paying things like feed-in tariffs, renewables obligations, a variety of things for the renewable sector. So this effectively is the subsidies area that, that you're paying green taxes to. The big six are some of the biggest collectors of tax in the UK. So when you get a bill, it's sent by these guys, but these guys are nothing more than very large billing engines, so five million customers. They have very strong credit facilities because they're buying electricity and they're selling it to you and you're only paying them a month or a three months after you've used it. And they have relatively sophisticated IT systems. But in a nutshell, that is what they're doing. Out of all of the money, the disbursements that are happening here, the average so the average bill, 3,000, uh, 1,300 pounds of that supplier, i.e. these guys, the ones that are always in the news, are making between 40 and 100 pounds profit. That is effectively what you pay for every month. Next week, we'll have a look at part two, which is gas.